everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rini and I am a DIY home decor enthusiast. Today I'll be sharing with you guys three bathroom decor DIYs. They are extremely budget friendly to make and add a touch of personalization to any bathroom. They are also super easy to create and do not take up much space in the bathroom. Before we get into the DIYs, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I drop a new video. So without further ado, let's jump right into the DIYs. For this project, I am taking this 8 by 10 inches canvas and some felt in black color. I'm taking a piece of paper and tracing the shape of my hand on it. I'll be cutting it out following the line. Then I'm laying the paper on the felt and placing a heavy object on it so it doesn't move anywhere. I'm tracing it again with a white pen. Now this is where I felt I could have directly traced my hand on the felt but um, I went that extra mile. I'm then going ahead and cutting out the felt. Next I'm taking this white cotton twine and an embroidery needle. So here I'm making a running stitch. It is basically very simple so what I'm doing is running the needle in and out through the felt. I'm making the stitches leaving 1cm from the perimeter of the shape. After I'm done with stitching all the way around, I'm tying a double knot on the back side to secure it. Then I'm placing the shape on the canvas leaving around 3-4 to four inches of space at the bottom. I'm now hot gluing the hand shape onto the canvas working in small sections. So I had this spare wood piece from a previous project that I'm going to use. I'll be writing wash your hands on it with a pencil. Then I'll take this black acrylic paint and a small brush and I'll be doing calligraphy on the wood piece. So first I'll be writing the letters following the pencil lettering as a guide. Then I'll be thickening the downward strokes. I'll keep the upward strokes as it is. I'm not doing any calligraphy on the word your, I'm just thickening the letters uniformly. I'll again be writing the word hands in calligraphy. So all the downward strokes should be thicker compared to the upward strokes. To finish off, I will be hot gluing the wood piece onto the canvas. And here we have our bathroom sign. For the next project, I am taking four of these wooden cube drawers that Dollar Tree carries. So first I'll be removing the drawers and I'll be sticking all the four boxes together with some E6000 glue.
Once I've glued on all the four boxes together, I'll leave them to dry. Next I'm taking the drawers and I'll be painting them with a white chalk paint. I'm not painting inside the drawers because it won't be visible anyway. If you want, you can also paint them. Now I'm taking this black chalk paint and I'll be painting the cubes. I'm painting all the four sides and the back. Now I'll be taking four of the small wooden cubes and I'll be painting them with copper acrylic paint. I applied two coats so that the paint gets nice and opaque. Now I'll be taking the drawers and glue the knobs onto the center with my trusty U6000. I am kind of eyeballing the center and gluing the knobs. After all the four knobs are attached to the drawer, I will be pushing the drawers back in. So we have our organizer which could be used to store q-tips, cotton buds and little knickknacks. For the last project, I am taking this mason jar and a pump from an empty soap dispenser. I am removing the lid and marking the center. I am taking the screwdriver's shank and tapping on the lid with a hammer. You can also use a nail and make a hole in the center. Now I'll take a wire cutter and I'll be cutting through the metal in a circular shape until the pump fits in. Now we can see it fits like a glove. I'll be going ahead and hammering down the sharp metal edges. Then I'll be cutting out the pump tube to make it sit perfectly inside the jar. I'll then glue the pump onto the lid with E6000. I'm also adding some hot glue onto the back of the lid to secure it. Next I'll take my white chalk paint and start painting the jar. I will apply three coats of paint and make sure I let the paint dry really well in between the coats. Then I'm taking this black chalk paint and painting on the lid and the pump. Now that we have all the parts painted, I will assemble them together and we have our mason jar soap dispenser.
hope you guys enjoyed today's bathroom decor diys if you did please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and you can also check out my instagram at dusty hills let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite diy and you can also comment down below what kind of diys you would like to see in the future i'll be seeing you guys on my next video